Listen, I'm not gonna mince words. I think the release of DaVinci Resolve 18.6 was the roughest release of Resolve we've maybe ever seen when it comes in terms of the largest number of users seeing major bugs in the follow-up. I've seen lots of comments and uh, forum posts and people you know, posting on every social media about the same issues coming up again and again. And while I've had a pretty smooth experience so far with the launch version of 18.6, lots of people had lots of issues. But as of right now, we've got 18.6, Point one, so we're gonna talk about it. I've loaded up Resolve and I didn't get a, a pop-up for this, um, maybe just because it's a smaller update, but if I come up to DaVinci Resolve, check for updates, we'll see, hey, we have a new update, 18.6.1. I can go ahead and download that, it'll start installing. And I'm also gonna head over to the support page for Blackmagic Design. Of course, this is where you can go um, if you just wanna download those installers directly or um, very important for anyone, especially when we're talking about bugs in new releases of Resolve um, in this latest downloads, uh, especially if you sort by Resolve, you can just keep going back, grab like any past version of Resolve all the way back to like uh, Resolve from like 2015. That's helpful, but not really what we're talking about. What we're talking about is Resolve 18.6.1. My update has finished downloading, so I will give that a go on installing while we check out some update notes. Blackmagic also follows up a lot of the time over in the forums, um, but for just this newest version, we're gonna click on these uh, read more for either uh, Resolve or Resolve Studio. I believe the notes are generally the same, but I'll click on Studio, open this up, and we can see what's new in Resolve 18.6.1. And this update is, like I said, almost entirely bug fixes, which it, it needed. <laughs> Let's run down. Systems now default to prefer proxy for single and multi-user projects. I've already done a full video about this wider release of Blackmagic Cloud. I know lots of people were running into issues like generating proxies and sort of figuring out this new system and how it works with you know past projects and new projects. So it looks like they're changing some things there, but also addressing a cloud sync issue with projects updated from the past version. I did notice this in some of my testing. Um, in a lot of the cloud stuff, it might be better to just start from scratch so the system you know can run through all its normal processes. But moving on, address delays when performing ripple edits on long timelines. I'm not sure how limited this was to long timelines, but also this is um, delays that also noticeably affected the audio. This and the next one are the big ones I saw and like I like I said, I didn't run into on my system. So also, you know, I won't be able to straight test whether this fixes those issues. You don't need to tell me about some of that. Uh, but especially this delays on ripple deletes, I, I know was messing with lots of people and addressed issues where editing or moving clips would stop playback. I saw a lot of this, uh, especially on like Twitter and some, some other places. If people are used to, you know, moving lots of clips while they're reviewing an edit, and then all of a sudden they're, they're playing back and if they move something, playback stops, of course that's gonna cause a headache for people who have that sort of muscle memory built in. I would say these are the big things uh, from this update, but let's keep on running. Uh, addressed issues showing retimed clips with handles on the color page, addressed issue navigating clips with show handles enabled, addressed issues with grabbing stills after deleting a gallery image, addressed issue importing suffixed multi-mono files from media storage. This was like a new feature in 18.6. It would like bring in multiple clips and it looks like there was an issue, but maybe they've cleaned that up. Addressed waveform jump issue when performing multi-frame nudges. And addressed issue navigating power grades um, in certain sort modes. We have in and out point behavior in the transcription window, which is nice. Uh, a change to the target display uh, for Dolby Vision. They fixed an issue with multiple timelines showing as the current timeline. And a crash when using certain fonts on text 3D. Uh, I might have seen someone comment about this. Or maybe that was just normal text. Uh, sometimes Fusion has general issues with text in general. So if they're cleaning up some stuff with 3D text, that's great. We have uh, addressed an issue with a grid depth occlusion in the USD viewer, some disappearing key markers in the spline view, an issue with moving locked point selections in the spline viewer, and uh, addressed an issue with polyline point scale and twist in the edit viewer. And hey, general performance and stability improvements, which is which is always there. I know a lot of people were waiting for this update. Um, if this has been causing you headaches and you haven't already rolled back, then absolutely jump on this. If it was enough for you to roll back, I would say go through that proper uh, process to back up everything you have now and give this update a go and see if those issues you ran into are cleared up here. But also I wanna say, uh, take some of the right lessons away from this. We did have to wait a little bit for this update, but I think it ended up 
up being a, a fairly beefy bug fixing update. You got to be a little wary jumping on new versions. You have to go through your normal process of backing up your database before any big updates and you have to be ready to roll back if you run into an issue for whatever reason. And also, if you run into an issue, say something about it. Uh, the only reason I know that uh, some of these issues were as big as they are is because I saw people talking about it uh, either in my video comments or on Twitter or on Reddit or on the Black Magic forums. Tons of people talk there. And like I said, uh, I wasn't running into these specific issues, so I would love for you to tell me, uh, once you grab this version, um, is this fixing it for you. If this can get 18.6 up and running um, as it should be for a lot of people, that's really cool. We've talked about some of the cool uh, updates that came in 18.6, so the more people can start uh, using those and just like looking forward to what comes next. That'll be great. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.